Yeah, welcome along, everybody. Now, as you know, I've spent the last couple of days at Labour Party conference in Liverpool, so I haven't really had enough time, I think, to get my teeth stuck into what is, frankly, the biggest issue of the day and will continue to be the biggest issue in the coming days. And that is the kind of nuances, really, about how Israel and Palestine, Israel and Hamas, I should say, are playing out across Europe and what it shows, I think, about our society. And I can't help but wonder this. Have we imported a significant number of anti-Semites? who are happy for Jewish people to be attacked. People have been saying this for absolutely ages. People have been warning that we've been importing people from countries where not only anti-Semitism is rife, but it's illegal to be gay, where women are treated as second-class citizens who, frankly, have none of the cultural norms and values that British society does. And then it kicks off in Israel, doesn't it? And we see this. People in London celebrating, waving flags, partying in the streets as news emerges of terrorists massacring people indiscriminately. And then we can head over to Sheffield, I believe this is, where an Israeli flag was taken down by a pro-Palestine reveller. Again, I want to remind you that news is coming out now that babies have been decapitated by Hamas terrorists and women have been raped and barbarism of the highest order has taken place. And there we go, people coming out in the streets to support that, it would appear to throw the Israeli flag onto the floor and to hoist the Palestinian one. But this is the video that really concerns me. This one that you're looking at right now if you're watching us on TV or online. It's reportedly a refugee and asylum processing centre on the Greek island of Samos. And what this video shows, as you were listening to there, is those men chanting and cheering at the news of Hamas's surprise attack on Israel. So that is a, a refugee and asylum seeker camp. So... There are several videos of this online. My concern here is that those people, those very people, are about to be distributed around Europe. Why? How can we let that happen? I mean, praising a terrorist attack on innocent Jews by a group not dissimilar to ISIS should surely be enough to block you entry to Europe. I mean, it won't, will it, though? I mean, it absolutely won't. We all know what's going to happen here. These people will be sent around Europe, and it's very likely that at least some of them will end up on small boats crossing the English Channel. Supporting Hamas and their actions is literally supporting a terrorist organisation. Our government describes Hamas as a complex but single terrorist organisation. Hamas commits and participates in terrorism. That's a quote. Those are quotes. That's from the government website. I just cannot help but wonder how Jews must feel in Britain right now as the boats keep coming over, potentially full of people who are pro-Hamas and anti-Semitic. Britain, Europe... The West, it's just letting this happen. 